Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the new high retraction brake system that Polaris has on their upcoming 2024 mountain sleds. This left me with quite a few questions I'd like answered, so let's get right into it. So here was the announcement. 2024 will come with our new high retraction brake system. So two new pieces that are key here for the brake system for 2024. The first is a new brake rotor, so it's a little bit lighter, has some more venting in it, and it's all about maintaining durability under heavy use. The second piece is a higher retraction caliper. So what that means is when the brake lever is all the way out, it's going to spread the caliper further apart than it did before. What that means for you as the rider is as you pull the brake lever in, you're going to have more travel before you really engage the pads. It's just a little bit, but what it does is provides us with more fidelity and more feel in the brake lever so you can control the brakes even better than before. First question, what is a high retraction brake system? When you depress the brake lever, a piston puts pressure on the brake fluid in the brake line and this puts pressure on the piston in the brake caliper. That piston moves and pushes on the brake pads, which then grip the brake rotor. The piston also deforms a square cut O-ring inside the caliper. This is what causes the piston to retract back into the caliper when you release the brake lever. Think of it like stretching a rubber band. Once you release the pressure, the O-ring returns to its original shape. That's it. There's no suction or anything else going on. So we don't know exactly what's new with the 2024 high retraction brake caliper. Is it just a higher quality O-ring? Answer in the comments below if you have more information. My second question is will Polaris be recalling all 22 and 23 brake calipers, replacing them with the new updated design, and then removing the brake warning software in the ECU and display that was added after the last safety stop ride? Let's go back in time a bit here. On November 22nd, 2022, Polaris issued a stop ride notice to affected owners of model year 22 and 23 Matrix RMK Chaos and Pro RMK snowmobiles. Polaris determined that under certain operating conditions, some snowmobiles may be susceptible to brake system overheating. Brake overheating may increase the risk of a fire, posing a risk of serious injury. A few weeks later, on December 12th, 2022, Polaris emailed us with their fix for the brake issue. They also released a video. You can find a link to that video in the description. Here is what they said. The solution is a software reflash that will update the brains of your sled, both the engine controller and the gauge as a reminder. The issue behind this stop ride is that under certain operating conditions, some 22 and 23 RMK models may be susceptible to brake systems overheating. This reflash solution implements a strategy to actively warn the rider of the scenario sooner and to take action to limit extended or unintended simultaneous operation of the brake and throttle. Now to me, this is saying that it has been the fault of the rider for the heat buildup due to riding the brake. However, as you can see in this video, one of my buddies had his sled only reach about 69 to 7,000 RPM under full throttle without touching the brake lever. It turned out that the brake was stuck on. The piston was not retracting back into the caliper. Look at these pictures of the damage. The rotor was warped, the caliper destroyed. He needed an entire new brake system and that took over six months to get fixed because there were no replacement parts available. Fast forward to Snowcheck 2024 and now Polaris has a new high retraction brake caliper. After watching this, it has become clear that the problem was the brake caliper all along. Not all brake calipers were doing this. For example, mine is working perfectly fine. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. All right, you might be thinking I have something against Polaris lately. But really, I'm a huge fan of Polaris products. However, with this brake issue, I think we deserve some answers. More transparency. So hit that like button if you agree. Question three, will Polaris be modifying our existing calipers with an updated O-ring to improve brake retraction? And was that actually the problem? Let's take a look at the brake system on my sled. When I'm not pulling the brake lever, there is no pressure on the brake pads. They can be moved around easily. So right there, that's how far I have to move the brake lever before it makes contact with the brake pads. So all of this motion, you're not actually doing any braking. That tells me that my brake system is functioning properly. So if you're like me and you keep your finger over the brake lever, you cover it, just resting your finger here should not engage the brakes. 
You have to move it this far for the switch to be activated. That'll tell the computer that you're riding the brake. So I'm not sure why it keeps happening to us where we'll be riding along full throttle and then it goes into that brake mode, that brake warning mode where it tells you to lay off the brakes. I understand how this safety feature would prevent you from riding the brake and possibly generating enough heat to start a fire. However, if you had a malfunctioning brake caliper, the brakes would be riding even without pulling the brake lever and activating the brake switch. Like what happened with my friend's sled, he was lucky he didn't have a fire start under the hood of that sled. The piston in the master cylinder can be stuck in without the lever touching it. The lever would return to its normal position and release the brake switch. Your sled's ECU would not receive a signal that you're pressing the brakes and it would not activate the brake warning system that warns the rider to release the brake and then go into limp mode. So my final question is, do the 2024 models still have the brake warning feature that activates after a certain length of time with both the throttle and brake engaged? Make sure you leave a comment if you have questions or answer someone else's question if you can. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. It lets me know whether or not my videos are useful to people and it will continue to build a community of fellow snowmobilers. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Check out this video where we make our way into Mac Lake. Now that was a really fun day.